Have you ever seen someone who at first glance you don't find attractive, but then some years fly by and you see that person again, and then you realize you blew it, they had a glow up in a short span of time, and you're just now coming to terms with the fact that you fumbled the bag. What if I told you that that person you're thinking of has a lot in common with a clothing brand? Yes, a clothing brand, and that clothing brand goes by the name of Champion. I know some of y'all are questioning whether I just compared a living person to clothes, and the answer is that's not important right here. What is important is understanding how Champion glue up from the cheap clothes your grandparents used to buy you to becoming a staple of streetwear and even being rocked by some celebrities. Champion has been making clothes for 100 years after being founded in 1919 by the Fine Bloom Brothers. Since then, the company has experienced large growth and by the 90s and early 2000s was one of the major players in the clothing industry. However, Champion wasn't a major player in the clothing industry for jaw-dropping style or anything of that nature. In fact, it was well known due to being a brand that produced very affordable clothing with pretty modest designs that weren't unique and they really weren't seen as extremely fashionable at the time. Basically, if you were to pull up to a party where I can a Champion hoodie like I am right now, you probably ain't gonna get no compliments to that party, which is kind of funny considering that now I've definitely worn champion clothing to parties and stuff like that, and I've been complimented on it. I just started this video, and I think it's about time that I address the elephant in the room, which is the current price of champion clothing. It is, how do I say this, overpriced? The average cost for a hoodie on their website is about $65 currently, which would have been absolutely ridiculous 10 years ago when things were more around the $30 mark. Champion can get away with this though because they are seen as a fashionable brand and have clout. All of these things made me look for an explanation for how this occurred, and I ended up finding about three major things that made Champion the premium brand they are today. The first one being collaboration. Champion has always been in a position to take advantage of popular streetwear trends from both a manufacturing and brand recognition standpoint. But as we all know, Champion has always been associated with producing mediocre quality clothes that you can easily pick up from your local Walmart. They didn't really start to change their image until they had some really key collaborations with popular streetwear brands like Kith, Supreme, and one of the biggest ones being Virgil at Blow's Off-White Champion Collection in November of 2017. If you aren't familiar with Virgil at Blow, he's an American designer, entrepreneur, and DJ who has been the artistic director of Louis Vuitton's menwear collection since March of 2018, and he is also the CEO of the Milan-based label Off-White, a fashion house he actually founded himself in 2013. Fast forward to 2017, and Virgil Abloh releases The Ten, which was a collection he created with Nike. This is seen as one of the best sneaker collections of the past few years, and it was met with a positive response by the masses, and it ended up becoming very popular in the fashion world. Before you knew it, everybody was buying anything and everything that Virgil Abloh touched. This man could have made the Dookie collection and still would have moved units. I'm telling you, that's how much he was popping off. Some months later, the off-white champion collection was released and sold out almost immediately. Now, people are taking a new look at Champion by association. These new perspectives about Champion were only reinforced by some future collabs with brands like Supreme and Kith. So essentially what we're looking at here is Champion doing some textbook cloud chasing. Hey, but who am I to judge? The strategy worked. I know, I know. But at the same time, we all know that just being with the cool kids is not going to mean that you automatically rise up to their level. You're going to need to do some things or have some edge, a boost so to speak, that will get you to their actual level. And this is where publicity comes in. This is where it gets real. And if I keep the analogy of being popular, this is when you start to notice people, copy your style a little bit, they're starting to talk like you a little bit too, etc. For Champion, this is when we start to see celebrities and influencers rock their stuff. I'm not talking about some Honey Boo Boo or some Whoa Vicky level celebrities if you catch my drift. Can we even refer to them as celebrities? Like, is that a thing? Like, are they? Anyway, you get what I'm saying right now. I'm talking about A-listers like Kanye West, Jennifer Lopez, Aesop Rocky, Kylie, Kendall Jenner, and more. As humans, when we see someone we admire or respect do or own something, we crave what they have and there's nothing wrong with that. So when celebrities start to wear champion clothing, it was hard not to notice and respect champion more as a brand. This is a very crucial step in champion's plan to rebrand when you realize that when a celebrity wears your clothing brand, they aren't only exposing that brand to your national market, but they're also expanding, exposing that brand to the international market on a global scale. Believe it or not, Champion is an internationally recognized brand now, and a large reason for this is because of Champion being worn by celebrities that have audiences worldwide. It's hard to hate on Champion's rise, and their journey to rebranding has definitely been very eye-catching. 
And I find it very interesting that Champion, during all of this rebranding, never decided to make different types of clothes, they never decided to change the logo, they didn't even want to change the name at all, they kept everything the same. And honestly, staying true to themselves is one of the best decisions that they could have made at this time. Champion staying true to themselves ended up in a lot of people experiencing a specific emotion. And that emotion is nostalgia. And it happens to be my last point for how Champion was able to rebrand successfully. As much as we like to make fun of the origins of Champion, there will always be that part of us that loves that OG branding and that loves those memories that we have of relatives giving us gifts full of Champion sweaters and other apparel that we didn't really want in the first place. I think Champion is aware of the strong nostalgia that many people have for the brand and they made it a point not to change any major characteristics of their clothing in order to cater to that. Let's look at some new clothing and compare it to the old stuff. On the left, we have a vintage sweatshirt from Champion, and on the right, we have a brand new Champion sweatshirt that's been recently released. One thing you notice right off the bat is that the iconic Champion cursive font hasn't changed at all. In addition to this, the stitching and the cut style of the sweatshirts are largely the same between the two, and both have the same pattern on the collar, the wrist cuffs, and even the waistband. The new Champion clothes are purposely mimicking the older Champion clothes. It's evident that nostalgia was one of the major key factors to help Champion successfully rebrand. Collaboration, publicity, and nostalgia were the three major things that Champion used to become a top clothing brand. So basically the whole entire point of this video was just to say that your grandparents were ahead of the times. Let that sink in. But all jokes aside though, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun to make. And if you do enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. These videos do take a lot of time, but I definitely do enjoy making them and I want to keep on making them. And if you did like it, consider leaving a like as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for all the support. It really does mean the world to me and I'm not just saying that. And hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.